Ladies and gentlemen, traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. Guys, if you are tuning in for the first time, hit that thumbs up. And if you're a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel. So today we're going to talk about stock RNAZ. We're going to talk about a couple of other opportunities that came up. And how I was able to get myself green here today up 200 bucks. Not a crazy green day by any means, but a day that I'll definitely take. Now, before we jump into it, remember guys that day trading like any other business here in the States is risky. Remember to approach trading in a slow and safe way, whether you're a beginner or if you've been around and you're not quite as consistent as you need to be. Utilize the simulator, utilize paper trading, utilize risk money. Remember, me live streaming is not an invitation to copy trade. There's a formal way of learning how to trade, which we'll talk about later in the video. And of course, lastly, be careful of all those scammers, guys. A lot of scammers, a lot of uh, fake accounts popping up in the community. All right, so be safe, be careful. With that being said, let's talk a little bit about stock RNAZ. RNAZ, DMS. Crazy move that we had today. This thing went all the way from about 67 cents up to three, about 320, doing over 300% in one day. Relentless, how in the world did you only make $70? Guys, at my highs, I think I was up about, up about 650 in this first couple of candles here, but just could not get a grip after this thing halted up and then resumed lower, pulled back. And, you know, sometimes that's how it goes, right? Trading is a little tricky. You know, at times the volatility can get the better of us. And that's essentially what happened to me here today. You know, trying to buy quick dips, but in the moment of me buying, you know, a lot of surge of volume coming in, I'm in you know, a little higher with bigger size, things like that getting stopped out. But in terms of how we were able to get green in the first place, so this gray area here is the pre-market, right? Before 9.30. So I'm taking trades after. So as we, you know, we to, to come forward a little bit like this, this is where I really start to take my trades in this area here. So we open up and this thing started off with a pretty early halt. You know, we had a low 30, high 44. The one minute candle made the new high right here. And we started pushing up, right? We had a high of 44, we dipped down a little bit to 40, and from there we got up to a high of 153. So in this area, I was able to make $250 very quickly. I'm in for the break over 44. I'm out higher around 49, 48. Nice quick trade. And before then, I even took an entry, I believe, leading up to 40 for the break over that level. So now we're halted. And we're halted for five minutes and then the stock resumes and we go from 153 we open at 63 it pulls back here and then it goes higher so you know let's take a, a, a look at some live trading i wasn't planning on showing any live trading today but just for you guys since i know you're hitting that thumbs up today you know let's go ahead and show some live trading just a small portion here to show you guys again so as mentioned i'm up about 258 and i'm gonna watch it here on the resumption and i'm gonna try and capture a nice trade so here we go from 53 it's coming up How far back did I go? <laughs> okay, here we go. From 53, there's 63. And I'm a little, you know, I, I'm aggressive here. 4,500 ties. I'm a little, I say I'm a little slow, but I, I, I like it because we could have flushed down below the level. So I'm waiting to give it a chance, you know, at 60, making sure it's good. And right here, I'm looking for the immediate push up to 68, 70, and so forth. There's 69. And you can see that there's a fluctuation. This is what I mean by, you know, 
I'm getting a little unlucky uh, at times with the volatility, right? So again, in there, you'll see we dip from 69 all the way down at like 62, 63 for a split second. And there's a huge bid there, by the way, which I didn't mention, which was getting filled, 200,000 share order. And so we hit 69. Right here, my brain is already processing to, hey, sell 69.70. So I'm going to pull out the sell order. And, you know, we hit 70 and then we're back at 62. And, you know, instead of me making money, I actually lost 50 bucks. And it's, it's a little disappointing, but it just speaks to how fast the stocks are going up and down. Right. And then it's back at 70. So a little tricky on the resumption. So we skip four. I'm going to give it a sec because I'm like, hey, man, I need to make sure this thing is good. All right. You can even see here. I'm going to have, I'm going to have a loss. Try to buy. I mean, man, it is so fast sometimes. I'm right there trying to buy 61 in the blink of an eye, 67. This is how fast. And then right back at 60. It's how fast these stocks are something. Move. So some people, they'll prefer to be in a little lower and holding a little longer so that they can avoid the quick price action and fluctuation um, with the stocks, right? So I, I'm in at 60, I'm out a little higher, I'm back in at 62 right here, tight stops, there's 70, but I'm trying to give it a chance to go, I'm adding 65, can we see the push through 70 here? And I'm giving it a chance, can we get through 70? Can we get through 70 right here? I add aggressively for 70 because I expected big volume there so i bought a 4500 size for 70 it's not gonna go it's trying there's 70 again but you see I'm, I'm like okay i gotta just take it off because it's not going and then it eventually i believe it's gonna go 66 but anyhow so, you know at this point we're up 360 bucks and finally there's the move to 77 that i wanted but immediately i mean instantly back down so it, it's is it risky to take that much size this high yes but i still have expectations as to what the stock should do and you know right here it's like i'm expecting a, a big move through 70 it happens right here i'm gonna get long and immediately there we go finally the move that i expected is happening I'm in this time with smaller size. And so my brain is processing, okay, let's take this money off the table. In that moment, 65. You know, I think I got a fair fill right there, but still you get you guys are seeing how risky that you know and volatile that this stuff is. It is, it is. And you know, we we've we've been seeing stocks over the years, some are more smooth with tighter spreads, you know, going up steadily. Some are just all over the like these last two weeks. I feel like the stocks have been just all over the place, man. The usual entries are even tricky. So you gotta be sharp, you gotta be quick, you cannot get emotional, you cannot get frustrated. And you know, let's skip it. So again, I'm up about 620, 630 at one point. Let's skip ahead to this big loss here. To show you guys how I'm gonna lose on this now, another resumption. So we resumed here, we pulled back, we didn't quite get the high of day. Oh, well, let's say a new high of day. So we're at the lows, some small trades in there, and now I'm watching here for a breakout over the highs. But instead, we're going to open up lower, and I'm going to watch for the dip, and I'm going to get obliterated. So two things. One, an, uh, a confirmation window came on my screen, despite having auto-check, well, let's say auto-send enable. The confirmation is going to come on my screen and then on top of that so here's the resumption it's lower 55 we're up at 75 there's 55 there's a few bids and initially initially i'm waiting uh, i'm not going to be super aggressive because i want to make sure we're not just going to go into the halt down so i'm going to try and buy 62 area and i'm going to get obliterated man I tried to buy for 59, 60, 61, let's say 62 area, right? That was my aim right there. Right there. I, I punched it at 62, but it's in, it's so fast, man. It's so fast that we just skip all the prices, all the uh, sellers there. 
So we open up right here between 60, 63, comes down to 55. And right here, you can see from 62, it jumps to 68, jumps back down to 61. I got filled 68 on the higher side right there and, and, and instantly 56 again. So this is just a mess, right? And this is how I first start to incur losses. So the bulk of my gains kind of went in one trade. And I'm not out instantly because the order confirmation is on my screen, which is preventing me to sell. And, you know, it took a longer time than I would have wanted to get out. So I could have easily gotten caught in the halt down right there, which would have been even worse. So guys, be careful with this think or swim order entry that's popping up. Uh, or let's say order confirmation window that's popping up despite having auto send enabled so you know decent idea you know i i think i would have needed to be more aggressive i think i think that's what i need to do on some of the pullbacks is to be more aggressive not you know it's going to be risky but i think it'll be better than what just occurred because at the end of the day that's worse than the losing trade that would have came which would have been a few cents i believe assuming those bids are real you know, it, it's like I, I lost right there. Lots of, you know, from 68 to, to uh, 56 is like more than 10 cents. When, you know, I could have been in at 56, you know, stop. Let's assume the buyers are real right there. It, it's, it's just a bunch of craziness, man. So, you know, be careful, guys. This is the madness that we're dealing with. And from there, it was kind of just slow. You know, we ended up. We ended up getting a halt up, but it's one of these situations where it resumes higher and instantly halts higher again. Just not much that you could have done right here unless you were looking to be ultra aggressive here. So watch this. We're halted at 19. 57. You could have been in for 60 maybe, but again, very aggressive. It, it kind of doesn't really give a opportunity there. We're, we're already in the next halt up. And then same thing again um, for a break of 280. So watch this. We're at 271. I believe I stepped away for this particular trade. But anyhow, we're at 89. Dips to 85 for a second, but, you know, nothing extravagant or special. And yeah, you know, so a couple of small entries there potentially, but just, you know, the, too much aggression uh, towards the end there. But yeah, guys, so, you know, be careful. Uh, be careful. Manage risk. Keep it tight. Trade to the best of your abilities. So from 600 to up 70. Not great. We gave back a ton. Uh, we were green on another stock in BPTS. Uh, this one ended up, you know, going up nicely here. This was a nice area. The pullbacks were good. I think I made up about 280, 300, about 300. And I got caught on this big red candle here, man. So going up, nice trades, nice pullback, nice move. Even here doing okay and then just gave it all back here on a bigger drop that wasn't good and this area man i tell you some, sometimes it's like i look away i'm actually curious at the price action but yeah i look away uh and this thing is all the way up you know it's like it is just insane sometimes how crazy it is so anyhow we go from from red to green again on the resumption because this got halted up here resumed sideways tip rip and yeah so that was how the day went i mean pretty crazy stuff uh quickly i'll just mention because we're already going on for a long time guys remember that the coupon is expiring for vegas right the vegas coupon and the traders for a cause seminar that we'll be attending to in november uh, let me pull up the the site here. It is expiring soon. It's expiring soon. And we'll be picking a winner pretty soon. 
uh, to be flying out with us to Las Vegas. All expense, all expense paid trip with the team. All right, so this is gonna be crazy, and you know, take advantage now because again, towards the end of the year, the prices will go up for silver and gold. All right, guys. We'll probably run a holiday coupon, but yeah, the prices are still gonna go up. So be sure to utilize coupon code Vegas as we're winding down. Guys, besides that, check out the Discord if you want to stay involved in the community throughout the day. And yeah, it's been Relentless Trader. Hit that thumbs up once again. Uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to being a little quicker. And you know, maybe some less volatile stocks will be nice, but you know. Uh, we love the volatility. I'm not going to complain about it. It's always fun. Uh, with that being said, stay safe, stay green. It's been Relentless, and I am signing out.